Okay. Well, the first thing I'll say is I do think that um, the translation likely will seem different when it comes to how Viz does it. Um, I think we're going to get potentially a, a little bit of a different vibe, if not completely different. You can remember Shinkantusu. Um, the way is explained, though. First you have Damon. He says, hmm, the shaking of the ground. Is this it, Boruto? Nah, rather than the ground, it's the planet. This is a move using the planet's rotation. Then Boruto says, um, the chakra of the planet, a Rasengan that absorbed its rotation. That is Uzuhiko. Right now, the power coursing through your body will never disappear, just like a planet doesn't stop its rotation. Um, the damage will last semi-permanently. Before the rotation of the planet stops, your life will end. Um, yeah. That's... And he can release it. Um, that's the end of the explanation that's here, anyway. Um, I liked um, the artwork. I thought it was really well drawn. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Like, So I guess we can get into this before Rudy comes back. But when you see Code looking at like the spiral swirliness, whirlpool-looking like thing... Wind. Do you think that's like Boruto activating anything? Or is that just Code being dizzy, seeing spirals? What do you think? Uh, oh. oh. Mm. You know, I kind of was thinking about this. And um, I do think it's probably just Code. Just maybe. Yeah, I think that's just Code's per. Like, whether it's just him being dizzy and that's how it's drawn, or he's just seeing the chakra because he was affected. I think it is just code, like, being under its effect. Yeah, because the way it, the way, um, it rotates around Boruto versus the way, um, what's his face, code sees it is different, you know? Like, he sees it yeah. almost like, like, as in a tunnel vision. Which, yeah, like, which, I think, when yeah. You're, when you're dizzy like that, like, when you get migraines and you're dizzy like that, I mean. Yeah, it uh, messes with your vision, like. Yeah. So. This reminds me of Dosu, my boy, um, his ability, oh my God, because of how it affects, yeah. like, the effect of it, though, is pretty similar, like, yeah. the way it disorients you and stuff. Yeah, um, it reminds me of the it would, it would have been, okay, explained, this like, wouldn't make any way. sense, it wouldn't make any sense canonically, but it would have been so hilariously cool if Dosu says, like, or sorry, if Bart just says, like, it's, it's an, I think it's <laughs> it's inspired you can't even get it out because you laugh so hard. God. <laughs> the ability inspired by Shibashima is so cute. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> is any does anybody else find that as funny as Tom we find? I, I mean I find it funny. As funny as it is. <laughs> no, it is as funny, I'm just not laughing. But it is objectively <laughs> as funny. Like, that is comedy. <laughs> I love it. Mm. I thought of it, I probably would have been as funny. I mean, I think it's cute. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm backing you full force now, Conway. It's, it's funny. There you go. Oh, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just funny. It's also freaking cool. It's Cam cute. Cam's underplaying it, so it's downplay. It. I have to uh, to defend it now. Ugh. It's, it's yeah, funny. like, dude, imagine. Like he's he's shouting out Imagine. like our boy, <laughs> dude. Like the, the, imagine the power scale, dude. Everyone would be talking about those. <laughs> I would love that so much. No, I think it also it's similar to the Chidori explanation though, the tunnel vision there. Babe, it's not going to happen. Good. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but it's not gonna. Happen. No, you well, know, of I'm course not. I'm not gonna tell you that. It's possible. But let let me just you crush your dream under my foot. In fact, you thought I'm of it. Who's it to say happen. other people haven't thought of it? Who's to say Kishimoto hasn't thought of it? Maybe that's why he did this in the first place. In fact, yeah, maybe he was like, man, I really shouldn't have killed than... Dosu off so early. Let me bring him back in a way. Exactly. Like, there's Let so many reasons to do this. Let me bring him back in a spiritual way. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Let me just, like, bring his ability back in a unique way. Oh, God. No, I know, seriously, obviously that will not happen, but I'm saying it would have been freaking cool. Sure, Dan. Wow. I mean, it would have been as cool as if a <laughs> goat said, Hey, but I can't even say help. You can't even say it. <laughs> dude, it would have been crazy, dude. I wish that happened. Speaking of uh... crazy, what I find crazy, here, Code is talking about the vanishing Rasengan as an invisible technique in reference to 
this. Oh, could this be the invisible Rasengan or something similar? Um, but later, so like obviously he's implying that this technique, this Rasengan's invisible, which obviously it is. But here, but he can see. He later he comments that he can see the spirals because it like wraps around him, which I find yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. What? When are you referring to? Oh, I have it pulled up on my screen. Oh, uh, when he says, "What the hell is this?" What is the huh? well? When it wraps oh. around his arm and when it wraps around his to arm be later. fair, that doesn't mean he's seeing it. He could just be feeling it because he says, "What is this thing clinging on me?" I've... He could just be feeling it, not necessarily seeing it. I don't it. know. I think he sees it. That's just me. I mean, he the does look at his arm, seeing. but it's possible. Um, yeah. Does he never mention the spirals? That's the impression at all? I got. I thought it was hilarious when he told Boruto to stop moving around, as if that was going to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It seems like he is. I don't know. It could yeah, it like does look like he would. It looks though, to where it's like they animate the air, but obviously the characters in the universe can't see it. Demon Slayer. I mean, like, like I said, on one hand, it does look like he's looking at it, but he also could just be looking at the arm in which he's feeling it. So it's possible. Then also, it's obviously, so he cool sees Porto. the like. Why you gotta look so cool? After. Stop, yeah, that's the Stop. thing. Where it depends on whether you think that's just like how Ikimoto drew him being dizzy, or if he's actually seeing spirals. No, I think if he drew him is being just... dizzy, he would like draw the lines weird. Like he yeah, would... is he um I, I is he just seeing actually... the rotation of the Earth? Like no, uh, I don't think the rotation of the Earth would. Uh... The Earth does not look rotate like that. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, which I did. I was saying I think the art looks really cool. Like the detailing around the release really cool i'm um, sorry i can't say that better but yeah <laughs> so Kamui, since you uh probably thought about this for a while i guess we'll start with your interpretation how do you think uzuhiko works um we can get from varying levels of complexity so like the effect seems to be like obviously he's disoriented um but going beyond that um Yeah. It's the way I would maybe explain it is like he um because we were talking about the cloud podcast like I think he essentially like somehow alters like so obviously like you're used to the way the planet is rotating as it is and for to like apply some sort of planetary like rotation to you or our body like there's like a rotation embedded in you and that mixed with you know the natural earth rotation kind of just throws you off um if that makes sense those are good words embedded um, and mixed i completely agree with those words um though i have another interpretation but go ahead finish your interpretation um i think that generally covers like the basic gist as far as how he does it um i don't think he's like absorbing the chakra of the entire planet like you know like I think it's more conceptual, like, up, like the rotation of the planet. I think it's more of a concept. Granted, he says it absorbs its rotation, so I don't know, but... Yeah, I um, think that is another OP scans thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think that's where the translation gets weird, because to me, I don't look at this as, like, a, a nature energy sage art, like, thing with using nature. I think it's more so... Like Barry on note, it's applying physics to a technique, yeah. or um, the larynx gun or whatever Lorentz gun in this uh, one of the Sasuke novels, where he uses like lightning release for like a magnetic effect. Like he applies physics to the jutsu essentially. Um, I think it's like a conceptual, like he's taking like a concept of physics and using that for this jutsu. Mm -hmm. Pretty pants. I agree. Yeah, but generally how i would say it yeah. um, i do think though like when we read viz we're gonna get a bit of a different interpretation from ob scans <laughs> i think so too yeah um Cam -cam, that, what yeah. do you think i agree with conway that it would work in the same way you, well, like honestly you, okay you want to you want to word it in your own way or <laughs> not really okay not really. <laughs> I tried. Well, okay. Well, that's Cam for Cam's interpretation. Well, that's two out of three. Now for my interpretation, I say. So, okay. This is going to be long. And, Kamui, you're probably going to disagree with me. Let me cook. Let me get this all out before you give this... Like, this could be like a full ten-minute video that, that I've thought about. So, I... Okay, hey, we need you, know you to air fry. 
Wait, what? I want to do a video on this too once we get the Viz um, okay. translation, so go for it. Switch to this. Never heard of it. Switch to face cam for this one. This is, this is crazy, okay? Well, let me cook. Let me cook. Oh. All right, listen. Listen up. If you're Air listening, fry. Air fry. this is the title of the stream. This is how Uzuhiko works. This is my idea. This is me to my best of my ability. Using all my research, all the thoughts and knowledge that I've accumulated in my head. This is my interpretation. This is how I've come to this conclusion. You're going to have to listen. Long story. You're, you're going to want to disagree with me. I'm really hyping this up because I've thought about this. This is crazy. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> underplaying this, if anything. Okay. Okay. I love I love how you're like, you're just, you're expecting me to just cut you off immediately. And I, so I'll, I'm probably going to do it. Would but... you? Before we get to it, setting the stage no really offense. quick. Okay. What is Boruto? Boruto as the series, the thematics. We've seen it started leaning in the direction more towards the future more towards scientific ninja tech through science as well as technology going into those aspects and seeing how they apply to real life we've seen those themes develop especially in the outwork where boruto learns it's not about the tool it's about how you use it etc etc uh, we've seen science we've seen it used through kashin koji through the natural fire etc etc and then obviously it's it's expanded more and more through baryon mode and stuff and moving on beyond that we've We've gone more towards like the celestial angel with gods and the Otsutsuki and destiny and the moon and Toneri, the Jogon, the eye of fate and and the the the, the degree sixteen that's that's different in Earth. What is it? The 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 bend of the curvature. Um, the the space curvature, curvature the exceeded space, sixteen. Space. We have we have space curvatures. It's about space. Okay. Okay. We have science. We have technology, and we have space. These are three very hardcore themes being hammered home here more and more so okay and we have baryon mode at this point we we've we've gone beyond a level at this point you need an astrophysicist's degree you need to have a good comprehension a full understanding to have a full and deep 100 percent appreciation for what's happening in the story here with baryon mode with all these things with dark matter i don't even. think you need to have a degree to fully appreciate it you automatically just disagree it. okay this is just the like, context i'm, I'm uh, just on the stage i haven't even got to the point yet here come we just, just hold your horses i just want, I just want to hold your horses. address that yeah i think for a full understanding appreciation you do or you need to watch someone or listen to someone who has had that like for film appreciation you need to take like the class JJK. to appreciate film. Like they teach you things in the class that you need. Yeah, to see, like you don't have to have a degree though. You can just take classes and have the understanding without the degree. <laughs> so like, that's what I did. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Our, our favorite word. Our, our favorite word. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So going going back through this, let me throw out a crazy word here. Going through my science engineering background here. What's happening here is quantum entanglement. Okay, Qu quantum entanglement. What we are working with here is known as a superposition. We are working with particles, fundamental particles beyond our understanding on a human level. What's happening here with the Uzuhiko? This this goes in several stages. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go through the process here. It's this he describes it here: the chakra of the planet, or saying oh, it absorbs the rotation. And it's, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right now, the power coursing through your body will never disappear. Okay, so what happens with quantum entanglement? What happens the is you connect. actual engineering degree. You, you connect. Know what you're talking about. You are linking two different objects, two different particles, two different things. Okay, they're connected through a link that isn't physical. Like, like a magnetic field almost. And even if you put something in between it, the, the, the effect does not change. It's not altered. It's not affected to the slightest, not to the degree. The distance, it doesn't matter. They can go as far away as possible and be as separated for as long as so in, let me ask a quick question. Time. Yes, go ahead. Quick. Um, did Naruto have quantum entanglement with the tail piece? I <laughs> don't care right now. <laughs> Well, just answer because that I will know, affect I how I it, maybe. interpret. Well, right now, if the is answer is ego. no, I'm just a little bit unsure. But if you say yes, I'll let you keep going. Okay, you know what? okay just, just for the sake of letting me keep going, I'll say yes then. <laughs> <laughs> let me keep going, please. That was that was harsh. No, I would let you keep going anyway. But <laughs> okay, okay. Damn. Um, go back. I'll scroll up really quick to go see. 
appear explanations or whatever. Um, because there's something. Was Naruto quantumly entangled with Obito? <laughs> God, freaking destiny is the quantum entanglement here. Um, where does he explain it? Is it up here? No, it's before this. No. No, it is lower. Kind of. Okay. Well, first. Who are you looking for? First, oh, that. This this will work, I guess. Um. This isn't it, but this is like the best panel I think of it. So. Boruto has the swirls around himself right now. Boruto has started the connection. He started the link right now. Boruto is linked to the planet's rotation, in my opinion. He's linked himself, but he, he needs sense. to start the link. He needs to link the planet to himself to code because he's like the, what's the word? The conduit? Intermediary. The, con the mediary. Sure. I'm going to use the word the complete misrepresentation of intermediary. actual physics. He's the middle. No, 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 no. I'm using, this is scientific terms and analogy. Okay. So, uh, I mean, I mean, Sauer does have an engineering degree. So. Sauer, who's the scientist here? Don't answer that. All right, moving on. <laughs> he is typing. Okay, so like I, the engineer scientist guy, was saying you can't with use my terminology without knowing field. the science. No, I know, I know the word quantum entanglement and what it means. Okay, so when okay, Boruto we're, we're is Dutch. dodging code or co codes dodging board, whatever, codes missing. He also has a physics degree. Let me let me go back to pictures so I can find exactly what he says. Uh, uh you have a, we have a challenger here. Okay, so first of with all, I will say, with a minor in optics, <laughs> I will say. I do think Boruto, by linking himself to this thing, he is amping his physical body. Similarly, when he links it to code, obviously, but he's, like, nerfing his power. Like, his ability to move in this sense. So, Boruto is amped, code is nerfed, so that's why they seem relative because of this. At first, like, code isn't going all, he's testing him, he's trying not to get hit with it or whatever. But even by that point, Boruto's already amped. So he's fighting an amp Borto, in my opinion. It's a stronger Borto. Um, okay. Wait, if I find this isn't where I wanted. It's not really well, case of that. Um, I guess I'll ask after. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess um, he's since so I can't cool. find it right now, I'll just start with this. Okay. So yeah. Okay. First of all, um, we see. I know I'm not showing screen, but we see like code comes from behind. He's going to attack Borto, but Borto has the swirls around him, so Borto already has a planet's rotation to his aid he's already aiding his like he's amping his physical speed he's catching his techniques and all this he already knows it's happening um he catches you know i guess i will go find it really quick because i want i want i want to go find it really quick the thing where where codes like this isn't like genjutsu this isn't he's not making clones right here yeah um okay so this right here tells me um so what is this movement? It's not on the level of dodging. It's not genjutsu or cloning. So it's not on the level of dodging. He's he's doing something different here. He's not just moving fast. These aren't after images. This isn't genjutsu and it's not cloning. This is something different to the point that Boruto's not just fast. Code's questioning what's happening in a way to where this is abnormal. This is unnatural from anything he's ever seen. This this doesn't happen in nature. This is chaotic. This is different i guess this does tie that. into the question i was going to ask then. So, my question was going to be what do you think is happening during that scene so i think boruto is ignoring the laws of physics by using the dark matter quantum entanglement things that we don't understand to amp his body with the rotation so it's not him moving it's the planet and codes on the planet moving with the planet at this point so yeah, boruto can also That's... be moving at the same time so that actually that kind of ties in so that, i thought there was two uh, right my now. two potential answers at least was either just a code is just so dizzy he's literally just missing and he doesn't understand it or b <laughs> it's almost like yeah because of the rotation aspect it's like rotating code in boruto um like he goes to swing mm -hmm. hit boruto but then like they're rotated and now boruto's like behind code yeah. essentially it's like rotating them around Keep in mind, he um, this... hasn't used Uzuhiko on himself, obviously, and he's amped, not nerfed in this case as well. So he's he is. Well, I don't. So the thing, about, but he can control. I don't it. know about the um. Personally, I don't know that like Borto is faster when he uses Uzuhiko. I, so this is kind of like what I was thinking is Borto, uh, as the user of the Jutsu, knows how to control like this rotation stuff. 
So I think Borto can, you know, move normally, um, or at least he can walk while he's doing this because he knows how to control it. And then he can implant it in Code who doesn't know how to do this. So Code can't just undo it and control himself. However, Borto can just stop it because he has the ability to just control it. Um, how I was looking at that. Okay. So I don't know the actual number, but let's just say the Earth rotates at a thousand miles an hour to the right, clockwise, whatever. Um, you're you're gonna trigger sour. Stop it. Okay. S -s -s just sour. <laughs> Use take your numbers. headphones off. Go get a drink. You'll come back, and we'll be fine. Okay. Oh so Earth God. is rotating clockwise at a thousand degree. miles per hour. Boruto is on the planet right here. Code's right here. So Boruto can still move at whatever. Like, let's just say Boruto can move normally, like, at, I don't know, 50 miles an hour, whatever. He just amps his body, moves 50 miles an hour, any which direction. So because he does he's, have a physics degree. Because he's quantumly linked to the planet, he can up. This is a property, this thousand miles an hour rotating clockwise in this direction. So he can apply or not apply this at any moment uh, relative to and uncorrelated, unconnected to the planet itself. So while he's on the planet, Boruto is, is on the planet. Is that linear speed or angular speed? Yes. So Boruto's on the planet. The planet's rotating a thousand miles an hour this direction. Because he's on the planet, Boruto is also rotating a thousand miles an hour in the same direction. He's just doing that naturally. Like everyone is. Every every single person on the planet is doing yeah, it. Yeah, so like um, person off the planet. <laughs> this is okay, I, you might be going in the same direction if you disagree, just disagree and continue. The way I was gonna say is Borto being in control, okay, let's say we're rotating clockwise a thousand miles an hour normally. But Borto can essentially you know, apply a thousand miles per hour counterclockwise so that he still while everyone else rotates, because of that code keeps missing kind of thing is that kind of where you're going that's, or that's kind of the idea but that's a little bit too far so this is a this is like a but it doesn't have to game. be like that much the point is just that he's changing the relative rotation between himself and code and everyone else for that matter so this is like a property which can be applied like this is a state of being like the earth by itself is normal it's outside of this this is a state of being outside of the earth the Earth just happens to have this property applied to it naturally, which also naturally applies to everyone on it, including Boruto. So what Boruto can do is he can apply this property to his state of being, but only this property. So Boruto, he controls it, like you said. He can connect to this, and in addition to naturally just moving a thousand miles an hour in this direction, he can then apply the rotation of the Earth to himself because it's a property, again, outside disconnected from the earth itself it just so happens to apply to the earth so he can then apply that property which applies to the earth but not to him he's just taking advantage of it he can then apply it to himself to also move a thousand miles an hour in this direction outside of or indifferent from the earth so as the earth moves a thousand miles an hour he then moves a thousand miles an hour so technically yeah like an extra thousand yeah, yeah so that's the other way like, i was gonna looking say looking at it it looks like he's moving two thousand miles an hour but realistically he's just applying this thousand miles an hour so he's already moving a thousand he's just adding so it's like one thousand plus one thousand it's not two thousand. yeah like the earth is because rotating a thousand and he's on the earth and now he's taking that and applying it to him specifically too yeah so what this is this is literally the 1000 plus 1000 but like the teacher said the left half of the equation is separate from the right half of the equation even though they balance they equal out which is fine that's how this works you are ignoring the 2000 in this case so this doesn't exist borto's not moving 2000 miles an hour even though he technically is because it's balanced. What he is doing, he is moving 1,000 plus 1,000 miles an hour. This is what's happening physically in reality. This is what's technically happening mathematically. Yeah, like the point is he's applying the whatever amount. It could even just be an extra 5 miles an hour. It doesn't have to be the full 1,000. Yeah. But he's applying the general rotation to himself. And code isn't doing that. So there's a difference and then he applies it to code so code is just spinning without controlling it he just doesn't get it like i agree but there is another factor here which i specifically made this to be the case it's the clockwise thing so 
again because this is a state of being outside of the planet yes the planet is rotating and it is rotating clockwise but the rotating a thousand degrees clockwise is the state of being it's the property and so that property itself isn't changing it's unchangeable in terms of the property itself because it's just its own thing it's intangible it's an intangible construct that we can't see so or hold or interact with it's its own separate thing, which so applies to the planet it's like this property is a is quantum entangled to the planet the the planet can spin any which direction but that's outside of this property so similarly i don't think Boruto it's just like a force applied to an object the force is this force and then the object is the earth where it's being a, a force is being applied to yes but what i do think can happen here rather than so i don't think he can apply it a thousand miles an hour counterclockwise i don't think he can apply it a thousand miles an hour north or south or whichever which direction he wants to go i don't think he can do that but what i think he can do because this applies naturally to the earth it's connected to the earth he can disconnect himself from the rotation of the earth so boruto's superposition stays exactly where it is while the earth continues to rotate in this way in that that's way, what i said earlier well, no technically what you're like the, the, okay, okay, it's not exactly this. what i said but it's the concept i said earlier the concept yeah. was that he would stop rotating um while everyone else is rotating and that's why code misses so in this case i'm actually doing the opposite so what you were doing was you were doing the a thousand in this case minus one thousand to equal zero but i'm only focusing on the zero so he's taking away the natural rotation from himself that's being applied to the earth to stay in this location in space because the earth itself is rotating in space he's staying in this position in space while the earth continues to move in space that's what i'm saying yes okay uh, you, we're saying the same thing in a are. different way no, but 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 again we are saying the same thing in a different way but that different way is different which is the point like there is a difference and they apply yeah. differently. Like, it's the application of this, which is the hard part to understand, I think. And I might not be explaining it perfectly. But I think it is very complicated and com complex and convoluted. But there is a difference here. And that difference does make a difference. You need to re-explain what you're trying to say. What is Boruto doing? What do yeah, because like? I feel like I'm still... I, I might be too high for this conversation. So like, it, uh... it seems like what you were saying okay. earlier is that there's a thousand miles an hour of rotation that he can move in any which direction. Well, I don't know necessarily. I'm, just, I'm not saying he is doing that. I'm just saying, like, or, but, there's like, possibilities. The there's the possibility that he's just adding it. He's spinning twice as much. It's the possibility that he's effectively removing his rotation while everyone else keeps going, uh, which obviously makes code miss because Boruto stops moving the way he should. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> what Boruto's doing... Like, there's there's different ways that one could come to be, but the point is, his, okay, we agree... He's probably making his rotation different from codes when he's dodging him. Is yeah. do we agree on that at least? Yeah. Okay. So what, what's the question is, here? what is he doing? So Boruto's so, not affecting the rotation of the planet at all. The ro the the planet is rotating a thousand miles an hour, no matter what, in the same clockwise direction. Agreed. Regardless. So, he's only affecting himself or code or whoever, yeah. like the people. So if Boruto moves counterclockwise he's not applying this thousand miles an hour of rotation to move counterclockwise to like minus it out he's not evening it out to equal zero what's happening is he's canceling the first one altogether so rather than subtracting this just doesn't exist in the first place so he's okay, but how would he just connecting himself from the earth it's like imagine if you jump if you just stayed in place while the earth moved by under you and then when you land, then you would continue moving with the planet. In this case, Boruto is, like, conceptually jumping and, like, controlling the jump. Again, how do you think he's doing that? He's unlinking himself. So the same way he was able to link himself to apply this extra to himself, this extra, he's unlinking himself to rather than apply this, he's taking this away. So either way, this is naturally applied. So he can either... He can either take this property and artificially apply it to essentially double it, or he can entirely remove the property to where it doesn't apply to him naturally in the first place. But how would he <laughs> remove? But how would he fundamentally remove it? Because the way he would, uh, the way he would add it is by <laughs> just you know, basically he's basically spinning himself double. But how would he just remove the rotation of the Earth from himself? So that's what I'm saying. So, like, we don't understand Uzuhiko based on Damon's explanation anyways. Yeah. But 
the way I understand it, he's unlinking the quantum mechanic to himself. He's untangling himself, disconnecting himself from the natural curving of the Earth. To become Boruto's becoming his own separate entity from the Earth. He's disconnected from the Earth and from this property because the Earth applies to the uh, property. This has this has nothing to do with quantum mechanics. <laughs> Shut up, Sour. <laughs> Um, yes, Sauer also said, uh, so what is the point in talking about his universal speed if the only thing that matters is his speed relative to the Earth? Like, he used a really roundabout way of saying he's just going 1k miles per hour. I don't know what happens in the story, but this is really improper use of terminology. You're basically saying that he is fucking floating. Like, do you realize that when you jump, uh, you are midair? You stop rotating alongside the Earth? It's called the whirlless effect like you don't just fucking shoot off in the direction when you jump i have a suggestion for you jump and see what happens if you shoot through the wall what you are saying makes sense if you basically stay in place it doesn't make sense okay so yeah. sour clearly didn't understand what i was saying at all and yeah, plus, he, I, I understood what udi yeah. was saying udi was saying like pretend when you jump you don't keep rotating but the earth keeps rotating like it was the conceptual idea he was bringing up. He's not saying that's literally what happens. So obviously, like, if you were in orbit, gravity would still apply down to you because it's the planet. No matter where you are, it's going to apply down to you. So you're going to fall. I'm saying Boruto, he's not even physically in there. He's not actually here. He's like, his quant his superposition is here. His particles are here conceptually, but he's on the Earth, standing on the Earth. But I'm saying, okay, obviously when you jump, yes, you are technically not rotating you're separated from the earth in a way but you're still gonna learn like land on like the same place because you jump for like two seconds or whatever like you, like okay you, instead of moving a thousand miles an hour you're moving nine 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 point nine nine miles an hour from the difference like that's the difference you slow down or speed up or whatever based on th this based on friction of the gravity of the wind that's rotating because of the planet as well whatever the magnetism i don't care I'm saying Boruto can entirely deactivate this all at once. So he can go from zero to a thousand immediately. Rather than from zero I mean, to nine nine nine. Like it's not a gradual thing, it's a sudden thing that he can control. He can make it gradual if he wants. But he he's in control so, of it. Coming to Boruto's OP scans explanation, um, a Rasengan that's absorbed its rotation, it's possible that like when Boruto first activates the jutsu, it's spinning because the Earth is rotating, and that's like the Rasengan, quote-unquote, absorbing its rotation. At that point, he hasn't, like, done anything. Um, he's then going to apply that rotation to code so that he's, like, double-spinning, essentially. Um, also, I'm glad you said that. That brings up another because point. Because nothing... The code isn't disoriented um, or missing Boruto before he starts to get some of uh, this thing applied to him. So, while Boruto's, like, absorbing it, it might not do anything, but then he, like, releases it. Because, again, like, he can control it, probably. Um, I think, yeah, I think Boruto can control whether or not it's, like, affecting him. But, like, he applies it to Code, and then Code... In this case, I think Code is probably, like, the double-spinning case. Whereas Boruto's just, like, absorbing it, but not, like, actually rotating. Um... In this case, actually, I'm starting to question if Borto's just not rotating, but more so that Code is just extra rotating, and that's why he keeps missing. And then he just amplifies it when he hits him again, like, dead on. Yeah, so... Because he said it was half done. So that's thing, what's, like, really bad. Another concept to show the disconnection and connection of the different various parts here. So assuming the planet stopped rotating, let's say whatever, I don't know... Code got the chakra fruit. He won. And for whatever reason, dissolving a life of its planet, it just stops the rotation. So the Earth stops rotating. It's moving zero miles per hour. The 1,000 miles per hour has always been separated from the planet. It's a concept in and of itself. It's a property. So Boruto could still connect to the property. So even if the planet's moving zero miles an hour, Boruto could still apply this property to himself to move a thousand miles per hour. So in this case, he would just be moving at the normal rotation of what the planet's moving now without the planet rotating. So he's still moving the thousand miles an hour. He could just apply that property to himself because the property is separated from the planet. He's just taking advantage of the property of the planet naturally because he's on the planet while it's rotating. Okay, so this is kind of what, like, we're moving thousand, moving one thousand miles an hour because that kind of gets 
confusing with the like movement speed. Yeah. Let's just say ro it's just rotating. So uh the earth is rotating, everybody's just on the earth rotating with it because they're on earth. When Boruto activates this jutsu, I think like specifically when you this jutsu, the way it functions, uh, yeah, blah blah blah. It's like taking this rotation, it's quote unquote absorbed it. It's now rotating just like the earth itself. Not because it's on Earth, but like it's just that rotation. The Uzuhiko is rotating just like the Earth, not because it's on Earth, but because that rotation became. It's almost like a second Earth, another way to think of it. Yeah. But then he attaches it to Code. So now Code is rotating on Earth like normal, but he's got this rotation that he's not used to um, affecting him. That's why he's so disoriented. If that makes sense, that's kind of how I'm looking at it now. The way I would word it, I know what you're trying to say. Uh, you 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 did say it correctly, but the way I would just change the words is instead of saying it's like a second Earth, it's like the properties a second Earth would have of rotating. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just like giving it to code. Now, the, the thing that makes this interesting though is the Boruto mentions like the death stuff. That's what's weird because hypothetically. This also reminds me a lot of what Tsunade did to Kabuto yeah. when she, like, affected his nerves. It's like, if that is the case, I feel like Code, if all it is is just disorienting him like this, I feel like Code should be able to just, like, learn to remove um, so that it doesn't matter anymore, like Kabuto did. But if that's the case, that wouldn't explain why he's just gonna die well, there's more here. Um, well, first of all, I don't know the dying thing. Um, that could be a completely separate property this is, of this. Weird. Is that we before, don't know? The, uh, yeah, the, this is probably Opie skins. Before the rotation of the planet stops, your life will end. It's so weird. I don't know. That was weird, yeah. Um, like, what? It, either you wait for your death in silence, or, like, what? Or maybe, maybe it's like, like you're going to suffer like this, you know, forever until the planet ends and the planet's never gonna end so like you're gonna but again though that like i mean boruto you know? is looking down on code like, for sure but that like assumes it's impossible to like just refigure it out how to move like well there's a there's two different ways i interpreted this when i first read it um the first way when i when i first interpreted it the way i saw this was the longer boruto waits the worse this is going to get for code and because boruto can control it he can, like, whiplash him and essentially tear him apart all at once. So, like, the way this works, quantum entanglement, is it's, it's like, storing your conditions at a current moment in time. How you, your state of being, like, your property, your matter, it's storing all of that, like, like a state, like a save state. It's essentially creating a save state, like, from a video game. And so, Boruto created a save state on code at that moment in time. And every moment that he lets the Earth rotate further, if he all of a sudden applies that onto the save-stated version of Code, he could essentially, like, slam Code into the ground of the Earth. Like, at a thousand miles an hour or whatever you want to say. Like, the full force all at once. And just essentially, like, evaporate Code, basically. He would just crush him or it would tear him apart literally. Like, cut him in half, essentially. Because the property would just be, be, be applied to him, and his body couldn't handle the force of that the longer he waits. Like, if he waits, like, for it to rotate 90 degrees, he would slam into the side. Or if it rotates 180 degrees, he could theoretically cut him in half. Because one half would be going one direction, the other half would be I'm going I'm starting to get lost here. Um, I, I mean, it, I'm, I'm not going to say this for sure, but for all we know, the reason why he just lets Code to do this immediately is because if he just lets Code wait it out, like... Code could just learn to remove and it would be pointless. I guess he could redo it again, but like well, but there's another way he wants to do it immediately this. while he has to... So unlike Kabuto, oh. who like got better over time, my interpretation of, oh, well he's just gonna die before the rotation of the planet. So what if, similar to like Ada trying to resist it, he gets worse over time? So this kind of makes sense. Like if you continually spin, you're not gonna get used to spinning. You're just gonna get more and more dizzy. So what if his e equilibrium is just becoming more and more out of whack rather than him adjusting? Yeah, that's to the tricky part because on one hand, like um, you know, you just think of like um inertia. Like you're um moving in a car. Like it, even though you're moving like seventy miles an hour, you know, you don't feel like you're moving seventy miles an hour. But of course, if you slam on the brakes and stop. 
you know, you'll swing forward because you were actually moving um, and that stopped. Um, so that's why I was thinking, like, if he just gets quote unquote used to it. Um, when dealing with massive but I don't know. or heavy machines, with a it's lot also different of though because um yeah like if I spin around in circles over and over again, I don't know that I, you just get used to it. But when you deal with things like density like this, you're working with huge numbers that don't really apply on the human level. Like these are forces that are uncontainable for humans. Like if they apply to humans, it's just gonna rip them apart. Just it. Okay, but then here's my question: that. Why does code well, get better? Why did, as you mentioned, it seems like he's yeah. getting better at moving at the end of the chapter than he was moments earlier. So here's Why the is thing that, that if he should be? No, I understand. So it's both. So he's he is both skillfully getting better and his conditioning's worse. His condition's worse. It's kind of like Kimi Maro. Like Kimi Maro's condition worsened over time, but he also got stronger over time because he was using like his more of his power or whatever. It's like curse mark and stuff. It depends on if you, the way you think it affects him, though, because. I don't think it affects him like a sickness, but I don't know. So it, you could also think no, of it like he this. Said, he said, oh, I think I get what you were trying to say. You're describing changes in momentum in the most ass backwards <laughs> way possible. Instantaneously changing the angular momentum of people based, I guess, on the angular momentum of Earth. That's not real quantum entanglement. But well, they have to be linked now quantumly entangled to do that in the first place Borto can't okay Borto can't just do this willy-nilly to anyone he has to link the people I will get to this but first okay oh, my God, I had my well the quantum last... entangle part is what sour is hung up on like because for example I don't That's think sour or you would say works. that Tsunade quantum entangled like Kabuto um like um, you would just say no she just messed degree. up his nerves okay I don't um, care if he has a freaking physics degree that doesn't mean right automatically I don't know. I'm just in the guy with the physics degree. I don't okay, know. Okay, you can believe whoever you want. Doesn't make him right. You just believe in him. I'm just not... Okay, well, you don't have a believe physics degree it. either. Okay, anyways. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Okay, okay, so it's similar to, like, hanging upside down, in my opinion. The longer you hang upside down, the more blood's gonna rush to your head, the more quantity of blood is gonna, like, has so many messages in that area. <laughs> but like you can still like not get used to it but like the longer it goes on the worse your condition's gonna get but the more i guess you could get used to it but that doesn't mean your condition's getting better the longer you wait the more likely you are to die from i guess brain hemorrhaging or something your blood just drowning your brain i don't know how it would work but something this is in a thousand days to die so there you go <laughs> you hanged upside down for three days um but outside of the hanging upside down thing, I think the same thing could apply to Code as well. Like, the longer he waits, maybe, like, gravity applies as if he's hanging upside down. And, like, all his blood or whatever can sort of seep to one side of his body because of this property. So even if he's on Earth, even if he's not physically moving or whatever, that could still apply. Like, maybe his bones will break because of this over time because the force just builds up to the point to where it's unsustainable for his body to maintain its current position because of the superposition that's what i think um several interpretations those are just two of those um, but that, that's only half of the explanation that i had mr mayhem this drawing hurts my soul <laughs> okay so get it getting back to it so the other half of the explanation um let me let me let me, let me first go to the first, 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 first go to the, okay okay so it's where does he say that's halfway done Early in the chapter, when he first um connects with Code okay. with the swirls on his arm. Exactly. So Kamui said it perfect. So Boruto can't do this without first linking Code. So there's two steps here, two parts of it. First, he has to link it. Then he has to apply the condition. Okay. And oh yeah. Taking oh, the oh yeah. I didn't send that one to Sour, but yeah. Um. And like if something some panels this hour, if but... something applies to one thing or if it starts applying to one thing then if it's linked to the other thing it's going to apply to that other thing so like if the earth's rotation suddenly slowed down or something then code's rotation would also stop because he's linked because boruto did this boruto is already linked because of the swirls you know this i think the swirls are really the thing of this rasengan here it is the property it's the linking mechanic it is what 
entangles them quantumly. So Boruto has the swirls around his body, he touches Code, and through touching him, he's able to apply the swirls to Code. These swirls are the quantum entanglement. Boruto is linked to the planet, Boruto links to Code, the planet is therefore linked to Code through Boruto. This is also how Boruto says he's able to turn it off. So again, he's halfway done because he's linking code. Code is linked, but he doesn't have any property applied to him yet because the Earth already was in the state to begin with. So it's not applied to him. The, the property's there, but it's potential energy, not kinetic energy because he hasn't applied it yet. So he only applies it through the next time he touches him. <laughs> I mean, I think Code was, like, immediately, like, affected. He wasn't affected, like, 100%, but, like, that's why he's missing Boruto, because he's affected. Well, I think he's missing Boruto because Boruto's connected, oh, okay. and he's... Like, Code's not affected yet, I don't think. You oh, oh, okay. I, I think he <laughs> is. I think he's just not 100% affected. I, well, yeah, that's... I, I think that's fine. Well, I think the first time he is, but, like, the second time here, when he has his karma activated, he is nerfed, and Boruto is amped, but he's not nerfed to the same degree. I don't think Boruto's amped by this jutsu. I think Code is just nerfed. Not amped, personally. but he, he's able to, like, control his position in space, essentially, easier with this jutsu, I think. Based on my theory. Well, Again, that's why I was I, wondering I, if he I actually is doing that, though, or if he's just, like, the the Rasengan swirls are just being affected by, like, the Earth and whatnot, but not Boruto himself. It's just, like, he's just controlling the swirls that are outside of him. And then applying it to other people who don't know how to control the swirls. <laughs> but especially, it's not a thing of he turns the swirls on and off. He has the swirls on when he's dodging code. But he's not moving, which is extra weird. It's he spent. That's why. That's why I was saying. I think purpose. it's possible that um, it's possible that code is just missing because of the minor effects at that point of the jutsu. That's because he did possible. say he says code is halfway there, like. What would that mean? Well, that, that means the jutsu is only halfway done. Like, the jutsu... Exactly. And if the jutsu affects him, if the jutsu, like, affects Code's rotation halfway, I think it's halfway affected his rotation. No, it's not as bad as it gets later. I don't think that's the case at all, because he hasn't hit him with the jutsu yet. Yeah, so he did, I though, kind it, of. He hit him a little bit. Okay, so when is the Rasengan halfway done? The normal Rasengan? Uh, when it's when it's formed, swirl. which is potential. It started, but it hasn't executed. It hasn't hit the target. It's not turned into kinetic energy well, yet. Um, so he's linked. It, okay, but he hasn't applied it. That goes way back to our debate on um, whatever Jutsu it was about the whole hit incompleteness of something. The Biju bomb. Yeah. Yeah. I so really you're idea. you're um being inconsistent then do you think it the jutsu is complete when it hits or not it, in terms of hitting i'm talking about potential and kinetic energy i'm not talking about the jutsu being quote unquote complete as in the jutsu's mastered but he obviously wasn't mastered at the time because he kept bursting it apart not to get back on this debate but like no, i know but it was inconsistent is the problem it was still dangerous for him to use it well that's different like, that day being dangerous as... doesn't have anything to do with being complete okay i can actually this i don't know why i didn't use this earlier kakashi's chidori was incomplete before he had the sharingan he still used it and he still killed people with it it was still the chidori the reason it was incomplete was because it's dangerous for kakashi because of the the tunnel vision yeah but the chidori itself wasn't changed or altered once he got the the Sharingan. Yeah, honestly, it is weird to say that the jutsu was incomplete because the jutsu was complete. It was just unsafe. But exactly. So that, I'm playing the same. In the case of Naruto, too. though, it's not like a, it's different because the jutsu so. is failing. Like the ju well again, the jutsu's failing, but it has to succeed in order to fail in the first place. Like. He's still forming. No, it, and it's unforming. I can fail a test without succeeding the test. Okay. You have to take the test, though. That's the difference. Yeah, he tried. He made the attempt to do the jutsu, that and he failed. No, doesn't, he doesn't mean he has to succeed. Okay, attempting to do the test and actually he doing succeeds the test in trying, sure, things. but not in succeeding. No, he doesn't succeed in trying. He succeeds in doing it. He doesn't succeed in landing the hit. It doesn't execute. 
the end result. No, but the, the thing burnt. No, but again, you said that you can't fail if you don't succeed. That's just not true. What? That's not what I said. Yeah, you did. I said you can't. I said you can't fail if you can't succeed. No, that's not what you said. I know that's not what I said. <laughs> Moving so on. So I. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, um, I think the jutsu is complete when he's fully affected code. You know, he hits him, gets him all the way affected. I agree. Um, it seems like he just started to affect code. He had fully hit him, swirled all around him, and stuff. But he got him like partially affected. You know, what? I don't think the manga is going <laughs> to clarify this. This is going to be one of those discussions where we argue this constantly for the next six months if we just if we just do that. So we could just choose not to do that because it's not going to be answered. Let's be real. I don't think so. This specific instance oh, is not like... going to be answered. What's happening here? Whether Code's being nerfed or whether Borto's being amped or whether... Certainly not the in way. the Viz release of this one chapter. No, yeah. that would be a later on thing. Okay. Um, but I don't think Borto is amped. Chapter. Like, Borto could be stopping his rotation and whatnot, well, whatever. Um... I don't consider that like a speed amp, though. I think it's more so just relative rotations are different between the two of them, and that's what's throwing code off. Well, it's the same here. I don't think Boruto speed blitzed him, per se. Code's looking to the right because Boruto yeah. is to the right. Boruto used the planet thing to be to his left. He that's what I'm saying. Like, it rotated right. them. Yeah. Like, at one way or another, it's like it's rotating them. So code is, like... In a sense, neither of them are actually moving. The planet's moving them, almost, like, no, in a I sense. I agree, but I don't think, um, like, if Sarada was there, Code's not looking different. Like, Code isn't moving in space different from Sarada. He's still connected to the planet. Naturally. It would be interesting to see um, how it, I wish, well, we never got the third person's point of view to see, like, yeah. what it looks like happen. <laughs> no, but what I think, I, I just don't, yeah. What do you think, if Sarada was watching this fight, what do you think she would think is happening? How would she describe what she saw? I think she would describe the way as code. He'd be, she'd be like, what is this movement? It's not Genjutsu or Kling. I don't know what's happening. It's not on the level of dodging. I think that's exactly what Sarada would say. Like, unironically. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a fair point. Well, she, she would, would be questioning, say, what is happening? Like, but, this like, is strange. This is abnormal. What's happening? I don't get it. Yeah, I think she'd be confused, obviously. But do you think she would think that Borto's moving faster? That Code is just <laughs> hilarious. And she's just like, why is Code just like missing? <laughs> like, why is Code just attacking nothing? <laughs> Borto's just standing still. I don't Sar understand. Sarada, Sarada's pretty analytical. She might question it, so she might start to like try and figure out. She'd be like, is he dodging or is something else happening? Like, what's happening? Yeah. I think that's how okay. That how would Nishi wrestle? <laughs> Nishi be like, "Oh, good. At least he's still in my <laughs> line of sight. I can still guard him." Mm. Nishi would be like, "I wonder if that base is cursed." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. let's see what else I want to say on Uzuhiko. Oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> okay so he hits him. He goes flying. Drink some water, bub. Okay, so another thing, once he hits him, and he I am drinking water, him. that's not the problem. Hmm. So regardless if you think he's, like, affected before or not, he's definitely affected after the Uzuhiko. After, like, the actual Rasengan itself hits him. Um, and he goes flying back. Yeah. And he can't stand anymore. Um, so, I, other, okay, I do think he's dizzy. I think the dizziness is as a result of what's happening here. Similar to Kabuto. Well, yeah. He's physically changed, altered, not just mentally, but, like, physically. So, I think Code is literally rotating. Mm -hmm. Like, at all times. Like, That's his why physical he's dizzy, body, yeah. Like, if he slept, he's going to wake up 12 hours later where his head is going to be where his feet were, physically. Like, I think he's literally <laughs> rotating. That's funny to imagine. He's, he's just spinning just... around in circles, like, while he's sleeping. Like... like, he's not just discombobulated. He's literally tilting to the side. Like, again, like, his superposition is being applied. Yeah, like, like imagine, property. like, 
like an invisible force was like shoving you like trying to spin you to the left um and you're like of trying to resist it like you just and you don't understand what's happening kind of like limbo like if Madara was just spinning someone with limbo and they didn't understand what's going on that's so funny so in this case it's separate from the idea we Dude, just imagine that of like the thousand miles an hour and they're here and they can move a thousand miles an hour of whichever way um it's separate from that to where in this case it's the axis of the rotation itself so I, i'm describing this badly but like meh and then i, I don't know like <laughs> so he's applying this if that makes any sense. <laughs> He's applying the physical Wait, rotation. Who was that? That was me. Oh my god. I tried. He's applying the physical rotation of the axis of the spinning itself. Rather than just the position of where they are relative because of the rotation. It's like on a bigger, more macro degree. So you could argue maybe the first one was more, he was micro degreed and that was like the effect. But then the macro degree is what he affected here. Would you at least say that, maybe, based on my theory? Then that again, I was trying to read Sour's messages. God, I don't even want to look at I wasn't at really this. listening that much either. Sorry. I was looking at more about quantum entanglement within humans, which Ooh. I thought found interesting. So, we were saying earlier, like, wait, this is basically what I had Literally up Vertigo, Mr. Mayhem. Literally Vertigo. Literally, vertigo yeah. is the absolute fucking worst. No, I think he's getting Vertigo, but I don't think this Jutsu applies Vertigo to him, and that's it, and he's physically fine. I think he's literally spinning which is why he's getting the vertigo yeah he's spinning and that's what's making him dizzy like he's physically spinning the same it's way like that if you spin around in circles you'll get dizzy <laughs> so it's not like a mental thing this isn't like a metaphor boruto's doing he's mm, literally spinning like the planet um so early so what like i was his, saying like his like internal faculties yes maybe like rotating. maybe just his organs are sp- <laughs> that'd be hilarious well, that's kind of like the Uzumaki horror story separated from naruto but well, that's a different topic, um, which could apply to code. What is? Have you have you seen the Uzumaki horror story written by Junji Ito? Oh gosh. Yes. <laughs> no idea what you're shit. talking that about. The I've seen the live action movie. It wasn't that good. So I hope the anime. I don't know what you're talking about the at all. Manga you really just don't good. know it exists. That's fine. Um, it's a thing. But anyways, um, it's okay. A thing well, I'm curious. I don't like. Is it good? Okay, it's not the movie. The manga <laughs> looks crazy it. art. <laughs> But it's going to get an anime. The manga good. I haven't read it, but it looks decent. The manga is good. I read it. Cam Cam can attest. And I don't like scary shit, but it's good. So wait, is like Uzumaki horror story related to Naruto? Or is that just a coincidence? Well, Uzumaki just means spiral. okay. So. Yeah, Uzumaki. Okay. I I will admit, I care a little bit less now. Naruto did not invent the word Uzumaki, my love. I know, I know. I'm just saying that originally i thought it was like an uzumaki or a story like as an in the naruto verse like related to the uzumaki is the manga author's name it's like if i called my daughter sunshine she isn't literally physically sunshine (laughs) she's a human being (laughs) i know but like I don't know. It's, if it's, I say, like, I have a Naruto movie. horror story, my first thought's <laughs> oh, gonna be Naruto is a not, like, the fish cakes, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Um, okay. So, what I was saying earlier is that, like, what he's doing first is he's applying it on the micro level, so w- the, like, the diagram that I was showing earlier, right? Like, the same idea. He can move this way or this way, and Boruto can control which direction he moves, like, the thousand miles an hour counterclockwise, because that's the direction the Earth is spinning. And that's how that's being applied. The first time he hits him. At the very least, that's what you were saying based on my theory. Like, it already applies to him to some degree. Like, if anything, you're saying 500, but, like, whatever. It's still applying to him, which is what matters. So I'm saying that's the micro level and what Boruto does. So he he applies it the first time on the micro level. I'm saying the second time he applies it on the macro level toward the actual, like, full 360 rotation around the axis of the Earth itself is applying so we're like every 24 hours code is going to do a full 360 rotation like around himself rather than around the planet yeah, i just think it's funny to imagine like code sleeping and he's just like <laughs> spinning around in circles <laughs> so i think this is especially why he's dizzy because he isn't spinning 
perfectly on like the the degree like of the 2d plane like this he's spinning on the axis of the earth itself which is like make 3d um which is like if i rotate it this way and then rotate it this way and then rotate it this way he's spinning like this now to where like it's different levels here i've made more obvious if i do it like this yeah so he's spinning more like this now kind of because the earth itself is on this weird rotation axis of both the x and y coordinates so that's what's discombobulating yeah. code in my opinion because i think if it was more so normal i guess 45 if it was more like this then it wouldn't be as effective I, well, I don't know how to make it back to normal, but <laughs> there, close enough, yeah. There we go, yeah. If it was like this, and it was just spinning like this, I think that would be easier to adapt to, but because it's both on the X and Y axis discoordinated, he is uncoordinated. It's, it's yeah. It's way more difficult to adapt to. When you're dizzy, you become uncoordinated, so yeah. That too. Duh. 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 Okay. Um, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> you know, dumb girl science. <laughs> so, but because Boruto is the one who links Basic code, moment. he he also huh. says later that he can undo this, which also I think leads credence to my theory that he did link him and he can unlink him the same way he linked and unlinked Boruto himself. That's what I was saying. He can control it. It's it's more so than control it. It's like if he unlinks code, then he can no longer control it, and he would have to relink code. Like, yes, he can turn it off. Yes. Similarly, he can stop the link. So he could do both things. He could both do it to where he yeah, can like he has to. I think he has to, to touch he code to change it, though. Like, like... Well, link or, or not link, like he has to touch code to change it. If he wants to do it again, he has to touch code again. He can't just like telepathically do it. Oh, but he could also uh, release code by stopping the rotation of the physical Earth itself because they're linked now. It's like if Boruto stopped uh, the planet, if Boruto stops the planet Earth from spinning, code would also stop spinning because those are both linked now. So code would no longer spin if the planet stopped spinning. Yeah. Um Well it depends on what you cuz you said that you thought that um code would technically still be spinning based off your theory because he applied the concept of like just gravity spinning the planet to code in addition to the planet spinning. So if the planet stopped spinning, code would still be spinning just as much more as the motionless planet. Well, he's yeah. So he's applying the property. So Boruto can apply that property, like he was doing at first on the micro level. I'm saying like the rotational axis would stop because that's the macro level, which he can't control as easily, because that's more so related to the planet property itself rather than just the property. Because the properties. Again. Okay, so the prop. Okay, this is hard to explain. The property. Sorry, I'm, I'm multitasking too, yeah, which fine. is not helping. So. Um, so the property is applying to the planet. And then separate from that, the planet is using the property. So it's like the property of the planet and the planet property is separate things. Because the property is one thing by itself, and then the property applied to the planet, being used by the planet, is a separate thing, sort of. Because that's the micro and macro macrocosm scale level. So Boruto can or can't apply the property depending on what he wants, but I don't think he can stop the macro level unless he stops the planet itself. Unless he just de-links de code. If he de-links code, then it all should go away. Both the micro and macro level. Yeah, he just we have to redo it. So basically what I'm saying right now, if Boruto wanted to, on the micro level, he could slam code into that tree behind him, assuming that's the way the planet's rotating. Or the opposite way, I guess I should say. Because he would, he could stop him. Or I don't think like Boruto him can just do way. that. Boruto can't just like make code slam into the tree. Like you'd have to add more rotation to code to the point that it's so ridiculous that code's just slamming into trees. Well, I'm saying that he would stop 
a code from having the property of the planet. So the planet would continue to rotate as code stays in place and code can't control it. So Boruto would just keep code in that same superposition in that same moment and space in space, literally, as the planet runs, runs into him. So it's like he's anchoring him on a joint that doesn't exist, but he's making the joint exist through that save state that I was mentioning. He's forcing code to stay in the same physical space while the planet continues to rotate into him. That would also, on, to, on some small level, slow the rotation of the planet because it's hitting the force of code while it's trying to rotate. That's friction right there. Does that make sense? It would probably help if I wasn't multitasking. It but made I sense to, for the audience. So. Right, audience? I'll... All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my explanation for Uzuhiko. I think that's all of it. Yeah. Because he can unlink it, it or he can disconnect code. He could do either. But what he really needs to unlink for code to be unaffected forever. Yeah. Okay. Well, you disagreed with me a lot less than I thought, so that's cool. <laughs> at the very least, I think you're at least he's going along with it. Okay, he's multitasking. Doesn't mean he didn't disagree with me. He did both. That's fine. Um... I mean, like, I feel like general <laughs> concepts we are agreeing on, it's more so just, like, the difference of quantum uh, entanglement versus... He's just making code spin. Yeah, so you think <laughs> like, I'm getting too specific with it? I'm going too deep onto it. Like, I'm going to places where it... Well, not necessarily, it. because according to Sour, you're just wrong about the way you're yeah, using well, like, it. So it might not be that you're... he didn't understand the definition anyway, so there you go. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about, so of course I'm wrong from someone who doesn't know what I'm talking about in the first place. That's how it makes sense. You're literally wrong. You are literally oh wrong about quantum entanglement. <laughs> okay, Cam Cam, you were researching it. What research did you find? Um, I did not find um I ended up researching um quantum entanglement with people, not you know, science related. So the but definition yeah, never mind. Quantum entanglement is a bizarre counterintuitive phenomenon. That explains how two subatomic particles can be intimately linked to each other, even if separated by billions of light years of space. Despite their vast separation, a change induced in one will affect the other. An entangled system is defined to be one whose quantum state cannot be factored as a product of states of its local constitutes. Oh, that is to say... You're also wrong about superposition. He's wrong about superposition. He, You, you can't even say because you, you're just saying what he's saying. You, does Sour uh, know this form? I'm just repeating what, what he's saying. I don't fucking know. Oh, I know. I don't know shit about well, shit right now, saying. like I said. Well, you know, that's why I'm calling Sour out. Take that, Sour. You know what? what sour, that? since no, you I'm know it all, go know ahead, come on, on, explain <laughs> quantum entanglement superposition then, wrong person you. Go ahead. Get his ass, Sour. Get his ass. Try me. Mm. I'll bite you. <laughs> so, superposition is a phenomenon you can only really observe in subatomic particles, um, wherein of a set of given states a particle can take, um... <laughs> It, it exists in all of those states simultaneously. I agree. Uh, with certain probabilities. And after you induce an observation on that particle, uh, it will be forced to take one of those states. Okay, so you're just saying what I said, but with more fancy buzzwords. Congratulations, pat on the back. You're No, you're the one using the buzzwords. Entanglement <laughs> is when in the generation of a pair of subatomic particles when you observe one of them and force that one to take a state you are then able to determine the state of the other one based off of that that state it, it, wow. it, it causes the other one to also forcibly take a state and we haven't but seen codes you, rotation but, but we can determine based on the, the rotation but, of the earth 
but if you say connect a a person in, within a work of fiction to the rotation of the earth that does not mean that those two are entangled because they are not in a superposition of states to begin with they're in and a place also, and the other I one's be, in a place and, they're and both also, in a place and also and also interacting with one does not necessarily affect the other yes it does that's how a quantum entanglement thing is no that that's why i'm saying that what you're talking about is not quantum entanglement it's because that's not happening well, no, you're they not don't describing that when you're other. talking about the story the and, one and that's Oracle. linked to the other affects that one if they aren't linked they are... both ways then only one can affect the other and the one that quantum isn't linked entang... to the one can affect it quantum entanglement is a two-way link it no, does not. not matter which one you observe it will affect the other so what i'm saying right now it is, is cannot be a one-way link no but okay the planet is affecting code but code okay. isn't affecting the planet so regardless of so whichever way code is hit to rotate so it's not quantum entanglement so it is quantum entanglement because no, it's linked it's one way it doesn't have to be linked because both otherwise ways. No, board, it's so it's not. Spinning. it doesn't have to be linked both ways yes it does that is how quantum entanglement works no it isn't it is can it, be. It's both. Okay, no, it's wrong it? both. That's just continue, it it's just both. continue to be wrong then. It's both. Congratulations. <laughs> Does it work only one way? Quantum entanglement explained. How's it really work? Okay, that's oh, we just minutes. had entanglement. <laughs> in really simple yeah, words. The, the let's, most... let's, let's, let's look at it in really simple Imagine words. Imagine you're on a long drive when you suddenly hear your stomach begin to grumble. You decide to head to a fast food drive-thru and you order a hot dog and a hamburger. They are put in similar boxes and handed you through the window. You have no way of knowing which box has the hot dog and which has the burger. Obviously, once you open one of the boxes and see a burger, you will immediately know that the other one has the hot dog. This means that the hot dog and the burger are entangled in a certain way. See, it's entangled! That's what I was saying! Yeah, but it, it goes the other way too. If you picked you the one with the hot dog, the you would know the other one has the hamburger. I would finish the video Sour stopped screaming at me. You're the one who this is the one who bots that I am. Is based. Look around. <laughs> you. Everything you see, perceive, and interact with in the real world follows the rules of classical mechanics. This is a study of the motion of bodies in accordance with the general principles first laid down by Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> but what about objects that are really, really small? Do they also follow these same laws of classical mechanics? Believe it or not, the answer is it's no. The cons when things get that small, really small, quantum mechanics takes over, and things start to get stuff. extremely weird. Quantum mechanics is the language of tiny particles like photons, the particles the that make up light, and the particles inside an atom, such as protons, Adam, neutrons, and saying. electrons. To give you a rough idea as to the size of these particles, consider this. The tip of a needle is so large that it could fit billions of electrons. That is how incredibly small electrons truly are. Now that you have a general idea of the size of electrons, let's talk about identities. Okay. If someone were to ask, who are you? See, they're quantum sense? entangled because she's linked right to him. Fast. Now, let's assume that an anthropomorphic raccoon from another planet asks you the same question. You're just saying the what same thing over and over Perhaps again, and I'm I telling you why it's wrong, and you're refusing to acknowledge case, it. In this you specified three levels you're of identification. To... You're not making any, like, In a 3D space, X, other... Y, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. used to this specify an object's exact location. See, superposition, superposition! Superposition. Because no two objects can have the same oh, X, Y, Z. Oh, look at that, look at that. He's saying what I was saying. I was saying I was right. 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 Every electron within an atom has a unique set of quantum numbers. No two electrons can share the same combination of four quantum numbers. Electrons can be identified using these four quantum numbers, which are called the principal quantum number, the orbital angular momentum quantum number, the magnetic quantum number, and the electron spin quantum number. All of these quantum numbers are very important. So I think we as got they the, gist, the electron right? configuration of an atom right. and the probable location of All electrons right. within cool. that atom. Cool. However, yeah. for the scope of this video, we're... There, there's there's things here. Spin quantum number and superposition. You know, we're, we're skipping here. Spin up or a downward spin called spin down. Now this is where things get bizarre. Okay. When we say bizarre. an electron has a positive spin Just or like a negative Boruto spin, chapter it doesn't three. mean that the electron is actually spinning. Although it does have angular momentum and proper magnetic orientation, it's not exactly spinning. It may actually exist in the state of superposition. <gasps> oh my god, I told you! Shut you, up. You've told, you told me nothing. Let, let him, let him, let is, the video... He was telling you how an electron exists in a superposition of spin up and spin exactly. down. Exactly! And positive spin. And you may find that has nothing to do with this spinning doesn't seem of to go well In the video about quantum entanglement. Because the they're quantum entangled. Superposition. 
You might have heard of Schrodinger's cat. This is a famous basis. thought experiment devised by Austrian Irish physicists. This is another way to right interpret now. codes spinning. It's like Schrodinger's cat because it can be turned on and off. It's still potential and kinetic energy. No, no, it's no. You're just saying it's either on or off. It is not simultaneously both on and off. Superposition is simul. It, it's both at the same time. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it can be. It's both. Yeah. So he can turn it off, but it's, he's still linked. So it's still on. N no, no. You just said he's either spinning or he's not spinning. It, it, it is not. He is both spinning and not spinning at the same time. Yeah, you didn't hear my degree or my explanation earlier with the micro and macro. It's both. He can that's, do both. That's, that's, because Boruto that's controls not, it. That's not. That's, that's but he's linked. Separate things. So he also can't control it. He can and can't at the same time. So it's both. Erwin Schrodinger. It goes something like this. Imagine that you put a cat inside an opaque, okay, soundproof box, Schrodinger's along with a radioactive box. substance. Quantum yeah, entanglement of electrons. We know that you the two don't know whether or not the cat is alive or spin, dead but a superposition of both up box. and down we spin. Know it is. If we were to separate the two electrons, oh, here, we go. here we go, say, here we go. put one in a physics lab on Earth and another yeah. in a different lab somewhere yeah. in the Andromeda galaxy, and we measure the spin of the electron on Earth, oh, we will God. immediately know the measurement of the one in the Andromeda galaxy. Boom. Just like that. Quantum entangled. We know the rotation of the Earth, and it's applying to code. We don't need to know how much code rotates because we already know yeah, because it's yeah. the planet. You know what this? You know what this video just did? It described the same thing that I described, which I described. And you're still somehow using it as proof. Well, yeah. That remember you're the right? first Even thing that I said that was that wrong. you said what I said, but with more fancy buzzwords. So we were saying the same things. There you go. But but he's saying the way For you're example, apply if we measure applying the earth it is wrong. You're, is what I'm not I'm not using bu buzzwords. I am <laughs> telling you scientific terminology, using it correctly. You are using scientific terminology incorrectly. That's not true. You which, you, you use words means like you are electrons using buzzwords. and Schrodinger's cat. This isn't even relevant. On have upspin, we immediately know right. that the other it's, it's has not downspin. totally relevant. This information traveled instantly. See, I told you I'm right. You just admitted it. Was, As one can imagine, was, this idea I'm glad we both agree. It was such a so what you're saying is I'm both right and wrong at the same time? Just like a quantum no, entanglement? No, I'm saying you're wrong. <laughs> you just said I was right. So I'm both no. at the same time. I'm quantum entangled. So I would understand it. Have you ever been quantum entangled? Then you can't understand no, it like I can. You haven't been quantum entangled either. Entangled you just proved I am you, with I'll your you own very, logic. I'll give, you, I'll give you a very concrete experiment on quantum entanglement. All right. Yeah. So, uh, an electron and a positron. These are two opposite forms of of matter, so to speak. Uh, and so when they collide, they an mutually annihilate, and they release energy in the form of photons in the form of light when does it megatron is, come in it is two different photons that get emitted by this um annihilation and they go in opposite directions just like code in the those, planet and those two photons can they have mutually exclusive um, actually, is it mutually exclusive? See, you don't yeah, even know mutually, what you're talking about. I never well, stuttered I'm, I'm on my explanation. No, I knew exactly I'm what I was sure saying. I'm pretty sure it's mutually exactly. exclusive. There's okay. some, Sometimes there's words some, are hard for you too, okay? Calm there's down. some shenanigans to it that have to do with, like, the probability of what, um, polarization they're in. But in, it, it doesn't totally matter. In any case, you, they have specific polarizations, but you don't know what those polarizations are. Those polarizations are a superposition of all of the possible polarizations that they can have. But when you go to observe one of those photons and determine what polarization it has, or more accurately, force it to have a polarization, you are then able to determine what polarization the other photon has. That is that is both that that experiment combines both superposition and entanglement, in that particles, the only particles which can be entangled are those which are in a superposition to begin with, because once you force one of those photons to take a a uh, a polarization state. Once you know the polarization state of both of those photons, they no longer are entangled. 
See, but here's uh, the thing, Sally. Because, because, because you have interrupted the system. You have interfered with the system. See, here's the thing. Never once in my previous explanation did I use the words photon or polarization. Therefore, you are I, indeed the one using the buzzwords. I was telling you concretely about a, a, an, a common experiment that was used to determine the validity of quantum mechanics. But you're also explaining things that were uh, irrelevant to my explanation of the quantum me mechanics. Yeah, because you're... So we're having two different conversations. Your yeah, explanation so we're having two different conversations. Wrong. But you also said I was right, so I'm quantum mechanicized. No. <sighs> it's... <laughs> Oh my god, you're so I, cute, baby I, girl. I will, I will put it this way. What's your nonsense? Scientific literacy is a very fundamental, important thing for people to have. Just like and media if, literacy. And if, and if you don't have scientific literacy, and you even more up. importantly, if what are you, you to say? are, if you are uh, publicly having scientific illiteracy it, it, or in in i wouldn't say encouraging it but like uh misleading people uh intentionally or not into having scientific illiteracy that is a major issue quantum mechanics is already like a, a kind of a mind fuck in of itself and you don't need to make it even you don't need to muddy the waters even more as to what it actually means and, and what what's actually going on. So are you looking I mean, at my screen I... right now? Yeah, you made a fucking bridge. Okay. So, so Cam Cam, um so you remember when I was doing this level months ago? So today actually, it was literally today, earlier today. Um I built this. And so clearly I am beating world four. Levels in world four as of today. So clearly, I know what I'm talking about in terms Congratulations. of Congratulations. Mechanics because, is because not... Because... Classical mechanics is not quantum mechanics. Could someone it's... who doesn't understand superpositions make the superposition of this bridge to work? It, 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 it's the hydraulics. That, that bridge is uh, not existing in a superposition. And right? look at is them hydraulics, hydraulics. How good that was. That was clean. Top 15%. I bet Sour get like top 50 so, so sour. Tell me, I don't understand physics after watching this. I'm Go ahead. I'll wait. Go ahead. The game itself doesn't even have like a proper physics engine. Uh, excuse me. Does gravity go down? Yes, it has mass, it has speed, acceleration, horsepower, braking intensity, and idle on downhill. That's practically everything except for quantum entanglement. I mean, it doesn't sound like it mentioned friction, first of all. Oh, it has that too. Um, but tell me, of, I don't second, understand superposition after seeing this. Second of all, you won't see any sort of like steel construct like that or whatever that's made of behave in that way in real life. That's a spring, so yeah, you would. And this is wood, so there, there's actually not really much steel in this bridge at all. So <laughs> nice try, though. You know what, Sour? I bet you couldn't build this level. You're right. I probably couldn't. Take that. And you I, know what? Yeah, this you, is... I an, did it, not. And you know what? You got an engineering degree? This is I an did. engineering game. That proves regardless of have, your degree, I'm I an better than you. I have an electrical engineer. Oh, yeah, That's I what I, I said. To mention that what very you are building part. is is either mechanical or civil engineering. I forgot to mention that very important. So what you're telling me part. is that you're an and architect. If anything, electrical engineering has more to do with <laughs> quantum mechanics. Than oh, oh, oh! Just because you got an electrical degree, you know everything about electrons now. Okay, Mister Naming Fallacy. I do know quite a lot about electrons. You probably don't even know what the fuck effective mass is. I know it has to do with electrons. <laughs> yeah, only because I mentioned it just now. Stop. Stop. You're so cute. Tell me, Sour, this springboard launch isn't the most quantum mechanicized thing you've ever seen. It's not the most quantum mechanicized thing I've ever seen. See, you're only saying that because I told you to. Because you know I'm right. Uh, no. In fact, you doing that proves I'm I right. have literally... It's because I have literally done uh, an experiment 
that was designed to prove uh, the Bell theorem. If I wasn't right, then why would you have done what I just asked you to do? You only did it because I'm right. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it because I'd just be wrong. But you did it. Yeah, that fantastic. proves I'm right. You're a debate lord. I get it. You uh, know what? Just, you're the quantum you're gonna, mechanic. Prove the superposition if you're, back if in just, the save state worth of time that it was saved at. If you're, the if you're gonna the debate properties. lord shit, keep it to fiction or like social sciences. Do not put it to um, or screenwriting. Natural so sciences. It's like screenwriting, yeah. Tom, we, what do you We're think? Finances. Did I, did I slam this? Leave it, this, leave it this to fiction, bozo. art, or social sciences, not natural sciences. Natural sciences are very literal. Uh, they're, I'm not going to lie, I haven't figured out this, there's this not, level yet. But is, glad to update you on Natural sciences are not about, like, interpretation. Yeah. They, they are about determination of reality. Exactly, and I'm proving the scientific law of my theorem. You know, board, this is this is this is heavily yep. reminding me of a conversation that happened one time in this same voice channel with uh, a person by the name of Kitomaki. That's a now that's a person. Oh, oh about who the said ghost? That, that yeah, bitch? This, so that's a person. Oh my god, I call that, it that like I, I mean, he bitch has in the gay way. Some okay. kind of like I mean, spiritual resonance, way. and that there's a lot of people who have experienced like spiritual re resonances. So that means that spirits like have to exist man that has to be like a real phenomenon there has to be like an extra uh universal what force that's like actually spirits shit. that are that are uh, uh uh in interacting with the material plane when there's no scientific evidence of anything of the sort okay well um, if you're so smart yeah, mr absolutely. polarization tell me this is breaking intensity in your electric degree uh no Told you. What's that? What are what are, okay, what are the dude, units you even don't on? Know what you're intensity. Booty, me first, me first.